First of all, I am going to create a new web form. I will name it as error handling. I will add one grid view here. Here I have created a table called student and I have some data inserted. We have to add our connection in stream inside web.config file. Open the web.config file. Open the tag connection stream. Then close the tag. Here you have to write the code. Add. Close the add tag. Now I am writing name. I am giving name as my connection. Then connection string. Data source. Add your data source here. This will be your server name. Now add the semicolon. Then integrated security equal through initial catalog. My database name is Sample. Now, provider name System dot data dot SQL client. Now we have to call this line by using this name. Here I will write the code. We want try catch and final blocks in order to do the error handling. Not equal is post back. Inside file log string connection string equal configuration manager connection string here we will call my connection dot connection string we have to import the library using system configuration now string select sql equal select all from student table now sql connection run new sql connection Here we will import using system data SQL client. SQL command cmd equal new SQL command. Select SQL then connection. 
Now SQL data adapter. Adapter equal new SQL data adapter. Inside bracket CMD. Now data set dot D DS equal data set. We have to import using system data. Now adapter dot fill DS. Here our database name sample. Now we have to pass data to data grid view grid view one dot data source equal ds grid view one dot data byte now catch part exception ex inside our error handling aspx file we need one label in order to display the error message which comes from catch part something Wrong. Here you will see the output. 